Harry, just, just give him a quick overall assessment of uh, Ben um, Ben's was it six rounder, mm -hmm. uh, went a distance. Yeah, your summary of it. I thought he boxed fucking beautiful. Sorry for swearing, bro. So I didn't see the whole fight, so I was in the videos. I lost the last three rounds. Oh, yeah, yeah, he boxed really well. His jab, his jab was absolutely. Uh, yeah, he really he stung the gate of the table, he was stinging him, stinging him all night. He looked like he had a smile on his face a lot of the time as well. Like, he would yeah, come out and I'm enjoying this, he went. Yeah, yeah every time the gate threw straight, he got countered. Yeah. So he got out of his world, he did. Yeah, he boxed really well. What was the most instructions in the corner? Was it just to maintain? You know, just keep, just keep the rock going, keep, just keep the sway going, keep the ribbon going, yeah. but just keep that jab out. Just, yeah. We had to keep him under control with the jab. Yeah. And that's what we've done. So we kept him under control with the jab. And. And that's what we've done. What's, uh, what's likely next for, for Ben? What are we going to see him out? I don't know. He has to sit down and talk to Mark, yeah. let him and Mark talk it out, you know, and we just rock and roll from there. So. Hopefully, like, like a few more six rounds, maybe an eight round. Like maybe a six, eight rounder, you know. And obviously, we have to sit down as a team and we have to discuss this. Yeah. So, yeah, there's, there's a lot of options out there, I believe, for Ben. Yeah. He's a really good kid. Yeah, yeah, no, he's a really nice kid. He's a really nice kid, good fight, he can fight. Yeah. You know, we've got a lovely jab. Just wants to kind of, kind of press on, but obviously you need to take him at a time where, you know, not, not push him too, too quick with the same point. Obviously, yeah, obviously, you know what I mean? We have to be a bit smart about it, you know what I mean? Yeah. Obviously, we're, we're all educated people in boxing. Yeah. Like, Mark's very educated. I know what I'm doing, you know? And Ben will just go, whoever he says he's going to fight, he's going to fight. Yeah. Um, just moving on from, from Ben, um, you've got a couple of your other fights in your gym, you've obviously got your train pits for tail as well. Yeah, uh, got the old prince. Yeah, yeah, how's he, uh, what's, what's the next for him? He's, um, he's, he's got a world well ranking now, he's um, um, number three. Yeah. Number three by the so WBO. Have you seen in the UK? Cause he yeah, I've seen that. This is the secret. It's happening. Oh, it well, is? I'm not going to tell you when. Yeah? But it's definitely happening, you know. Yeah, we've got, those, um, we've got little Daniel Khan out next. Yeah. We've seen Daniel, good little fighter, Daniel. Yeah, good little super fair, maybe lightweight. We'll have to see where we're going with it. But good little fight, Daniel Khan. Uh, who else you got in the gym? Uh, Mitchell Smith. Yeah. Uh, Jez Smith. Oh, yeah, wait till, how's Jez after? Uh, Jez is back training yeah. next week. Yeah, so Jez is better than that. Listen, Jez is better than that. We all know Jez yeah. is better than that. You know, he went out there, he fought the wrong fight. Yeah. You know, um, that's Jez for you sometimes. You can see like a rematch because that was a really good fight. It will happen. It will happen. But if you ask Jez about the rematch tomorrow, yeah. they say I'd have that. But obviously, I want Jez to go back there and have a six rounder, get a bit more yeah. ring smart, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, because he just fought the wrong fight on the night. Yeah. And Jez knows what he done. Yeah. yeah? After he said these two, he went, I fucked it myself. But he knows what he's got to do to correct because Jez is a very good fighter. He's a lovely kid, you know, he's one of my boys. Yeah, yeah so, yeah, it's all good with Jez. I'll write Jez about it. Of course, he's going to, Jez will be a champion. Absolutely. He didn't, didn't look like the same kind of I've seen him before. He just tried to get him out of there. Yeah. He said, I mean, to a few people, he's just going to go through him. Yeah. <laughs> he nearly did. But fair play to Sam Antwing. He rocked the roll on the ropes. So he tucked up. He boxed really well. So, But Jez is a lot better than this. Yeah. Yeah. Well, hopefully, like, we'll see him out soon. Yeah. Well, listen, um, any final words? Anything else you want to add? Uh, Anyone who missed? Philip Rhodes? Yes. Philip Rose, the Commonwealth champ, <laughs> he missed him out. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's all good. Just waiting for a date with Philip, another date. Yeah. He wants to keep busy. So, um, no, he boxed fantastic up in Liverpool. Now. I saw he boxed I saw out the, of his uh, skin. Yeah. He boxed out of his skin. He boxed really well that night, you know. Or that life. Yeah. He boxed really well that night, you know. He's, um, you know, he's an old veteran, yeah. you know. Yeah. But he's fresh, he's young, he's fresh. He, he lives right, he lives clean, don't drink, don't smoke, he don't have late nights, you know, so that puts years on your career, yeah, yeah. you know, so that's, that's how he does, but he's always been like that, yeah, yeah, yeah. and he trains very hard, you know, so yeah, so yeah, so we'll have to see what Mickey Ennis got on the table for him, yeah. and we'll have to take it from there. Yeah. Sounds good. All right, well listen, I've kept you uh, kind of long enough, but yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll need to come down, down the gym, and uh, yeah. God bless you. See you soon, mate.